Hey, what is up, Slime Pack Nation? Hold up, look at there. Y'all see I got that Slime Pack merch on? Let's get active. Make sure y'all go get y'all some at slimepack.store. So listen, um, on my last video, I want to thank everybody who left a comment down in the comment section on what I should do with my car, sell it, trade it, or whatever. I already know it's up to me on what I want to do. And I just like seeing other people feedback and what they got to say about it. So today, I'm gonna actually go take y'all to see a truck that I've been looking at for a few weeks. And the dealership got it marked up. I really don't believe that that's the best price that they can give me, but the salesman telling me that his boss, man, this and that, this and that. Y'all know how they always do. Sam still haven't found me no truck. They had a truck, but it was a bad truck. Didn't want to go with that, so. I'm going to take y'all a look at this truck and y'all let me know what y'all think about that. And I need to go look at some new cameras because I didn't have this camera for almost two years. This was my first personal vlog camera and I think it's time for update. So yeah, y'all follow me and I am not going to Starbucks. I will not go to Starbucks. Say it with me. No Starbucks. Alright, so I'm out here at the dealership which is Buick GMC. I here in Fayetteville, North Carolina, right off Skyball Road. And this is the truck that I have been looking at. I'm going to walk around it before I show you how the price. It's already lifted. I will go with some bigger tires, but that's it right there. These is 35s. This is the GMC. It's a 2018. Look at the stance of the wheels. I like my wheels though. Stand out a little bit more. On the inside, they let me see the inside. The inside, it looks like it's been well taken care of. I think I can't, if I remember, it's leather seats. What if they got it unlocked? Ooh, it's unlocked. Dang, they left it unlocked, but you look. It's real clean. Back seat, it's a crew cab, full back seat. You see. I can't believe they left it unlocked. Yo, that's crazy. I could steal this if I wanted to. They probably don't even know that they got it unlocked. It's the bed of the truck. So now me thinking this this right here would be a good price. In my mind, I wouldn't pay over $35,000 for this truck because I've been shopping around and I just seen 20, 21 models of like 20,000 miles and their trucks like $48,000. But this truck right here is $44,000. It's a 2018. It has 81,000 miles. Like, come on. Y'all comment down below. Y'all look at that price. The salesman told me that his manager or his boss man, he did like an average of the specs of this truck, the miles, the year, and everything, and this is the best price all over. And there's no way that this truck is worth 44000 You know, I tried to get it where, okay, let's negotiate a price that said is no way for negotiating. The price is the price, and that's it. Alright y'all, so this is what I'm about to do. I got the Kelly Blue Book app here. The VIN number is right here. So I'm about to put this VIN number in and see can I get a value for this truck. Right, let me see. Uh, I think this is an 8 speed. Yes, yeah, it's an 8 speed. They want me to change, verify this information in here. The mileage. This truck got three recalls. Look at the value is 
trading value is 31,000 on it. Like here go one, this is the same year, but it only has 12,000 miles on it and they want 44,000 for it. But this one right here got 81,000 miles. The warranty is almost up on it. I really don't think that this is a good price for this truck. Now somewhere in the 30s, yeah. This truck been priced this much for a while, like at least about two months. So I know it don't have nothing to do with the market exactly right now. Um, all the other trucks that was around here are gone. This same truck been here. And yeah, all these are different other trucks. Gonna walk over here. Cause I think they got a Denali over here. Over here, I don't like none of these trucks. I think this right here is the 2500 Denali. I can tell from the height, it's probably the Duramax. Yep, exactly what it is. Look at that grill. Look at the comparison in the height. This right here is the 1500 Denali. And this right here has this is 2022. Somebody racing. But anyway, this truck right here is 85,000, 19,000 miles on it. This is 2022. The, let me see if they doors are locked. Nah, these doors is locked. It got leather seats. I don't really care too much for leather. This is the bed. Pretty good. Well, yeah, that's all they got over here. Once again, I say I am at Buick GMC in Fayetteville. If they was to come down on that truck a couple thousand, I would get that and try to keep my car. But that's still a tough decision. Here goes Silverado, probably fifteen hundred. To sell, they got a sell on this. They marked it down like a thousand. It's a 2018 with this got 118 miles on it. And it's 2018, it's 33,000. 33,000. Now, the other one is an 18 also with like 30,000 less miles. I think they just really keeping it at that price because it's got a lift kit. The thing about that. It's not the lift kit that the dealership put on, so there will be no warranty for that. They really need to come down on that, then I will come get that truck. But look at slime, y'all. All right, y'all, so I'm about to wrap this video up because I didn't have time to make it the best, but I had to come home and get ready for work. As you can see, I'm about heading to work. I got to pull 12 hours. Today will make it an 84-hour week, so I really be out here grinding. Whenever y'all don't see me on YouTube, even if you do see me on YouTube, I'm still grinding. But yeah, 84 hours is not for the week. But anyway, I did pick up something before I got home. I'm about to show y'all. And also, my t-shirt maker came in. Well, my heat press machine came in. I'm going to start out heat pressing stuff. And then eventually, I'm going to go on to threading. But make sure y'all check out my website, slimepack.store. The link is down below in the description. And also follow me on Instagram at slimepack underscore 392. And it's the same thing on TikTok. But yeah, y'all, let me show y'all what I picked up. Because I told y'all in this video, I was not stopping at Starbucks. So let me show y'all. It's right here. This creamer, I can drink that by itself. It is so good. I got my blender. So I'm going to be making my own drinks. Now, don't, don't y'all get on my case if y'all see me stop at Starbucks. Because I know I got Starbucks at home, but still, this right here is good. I done made me one already, and it is so good. Like I said, I could drink that by itself. But yeah, y'all, that's it for this video. Why about the scat gon' push up to your meat?
Why well, about this guy hit the gas and that bitch how you stuck till you see? If you asking, you looking for me. Slump at the merch, come and copy some gear for yes, a fee. Getting money, so why would I be? I'ma throw up the game when I'm out, show yes, my ass in the street. Been stepping on shit like some yeah. cleats. Why well, about this cat fast as fuck? Yeah, this bitch ain't a league. I'ma push up till you meet. Why well, about this cat hit the gas and that bitch how you stuck till you see?